we all know that the probability of 50% is bigger than 60. Or do we? In one of his recent videos, Alex O'Connor presented an interesting paradox that goes something like this. There is a killer who catches people in a very strange way. First, he catches one person. Then he throws a six-sided die. If it lands on a six, he kills the person and the game ends. If it lands on anything else, he sets the person free. But now, he catches two people. He rolls the die again. If it doesn't land on a six, he set them free and brings in four people. You can see the pattern. Each time, he doubles the number of people. Eventually, the game will end and the people from the final round will be killed. Now, if you play this game, you might say that there is a 1 in 6 chance that you die, or about 60%. But now, let's look at something interesting. What happens if we count how many people survived and how many people died? Let's say the game lasted 4 rounds. So it ended in the 4th round when the die finally landed on a 6. In the 1st round, there was one person and they survived. In the 2nd round, 2 people. In the 3rd round, there are 4 people. And in the last round, 8 people were caught and all of them died. If we look at the total, we have 7 survivors and 15 dead. That means more than 54% of people caught in this game end up dead. Now to generalize, if n is the number of rounds, then survivors will be a series sum and that people will be 2 raised to n minus 1. We will take the limit and as you can see, only 50% of people survive. So now the question becomes, if you get caught in the game, what is the probability that you die? Pause this video and try to think about it for yourself. And the answer is, well, before I tell you the answer, let me give you a different example. Trust me, this will help you understand better. Imagine a stock trader. 90% of his trades are good and only 10% are bad. From the outside, it looks like he's a really profitable trader. But in reality, he's losing a lot of money and isn't profitable at all. How is that possible? Well, I didn't tell you one important thing. When he wins a trade, he makes one dollar. But when he loses, he loses a thousand dollars. So even if 90% of his trades are wins, he still loses a huge amount of money in the long run. The same concept applies to our killer paradox. When the bad thing happens, when the die lands on a 6, there are way more people to experience it. Just like in the trader example, when he loses, the impact is much bigger. So, as you might have guessed, the probability that you will die is still 1 in 6. And that is intuitive, that's because the only thing your life depends on is the dice roll in your round. Now someone might argue, but over 50% of people who play the game end up dead. So isn't there a 50% chance that I'll be among the dead ones? And yes, that's true, if the game already ended. From the outside, if you didn't know about the dice and only knew that over 50% of people died, you might wrongly assume that each person had a 50% chance of dying. Or if you said a trader lost a lot of money, you might wrongly assume he made mostly bad trades. But in both cases, that's not the full story. 